But this morning, I'm going to be talking about a lot of wind which has been affecting England and Wales as we've gone through the course of the night. Still very windy at the moment across North Wales, the Midlands and East Anglia in particular. But if you were to draw a line from, say, Merseyside across to Hull, all points south are windy this morning. These are the kind of highest wind gusts, gusts that we've seen. So with exposure to the needles in Kapokirig, and then as we come inland, we're looking still in Weyburn, 55 miles an hour. So if you're traveling this morning, take it easy, especially in high-sided vehicles, light vehicles, and of course, bikes. So you can see the kind of wind gusts we're looking at as we go through the course of the morning. They'll come up in a second in the black circles, and the strongest winds will continue to push eastwards through the morning and then they will moderate. We've also got rain across the Midlands, northwest England, extending up into Scotland with some hill snow. It's now cleared Northern Ireland. And as we go through the rest of the morning, not only will the winds moderate, it will still be windy, just not as windy. We lose the rain and the hill snow into the North Sea, allowing clearer skies, brighter skies, sunshine to come through, but still a lot of showers in the North and the West. Now, some of them will be heavy and thundery with some hail, wintry in the hills in Scotland, and on the wind, some of them will drift a bit further east. So then, as we head through the evening and overnight, under clear skies, eastern Scotland, northeast England, you'll have an early frost before all this cloud and rain comes in from the west. This is our next system. This is a potent one, and the wind will strengthen too with exposure in western areas. So if we take a look at that, it's this deep area of low pressure. Just look at all those isobars. They're like guitar strings, and they're closely packed together. So that's telling you it is going to be particularly windy, not just from Friday, but also into Saturday. Disruption is possible as a result. So if you have any outdoor plans or if you're traveling, do make sure you keep up to date with the forecast. So if we start, first of all, with the rain, you can see it all swirling around this area of low pressure. There will be some heavy rain across the northwest of Scotland. Here there is the risk of some localized flooding. We still hang on to it by the middle of the afternoon on Friday across the southeast, but in between drier and brighter with showers. So let's talk about wind speeds. With exposure in the west and the south, so we're talking coasts and hills, we're looking at gusts of about 70 miles an hour. Inland, we're looking at gusts between 45 and 55 miles an hour, so disruptive. And it's on Saturday, still very windy, particularly in Scotland, before it starts to ease. Now get in, Charlie. Cow